Are you ready for today's lesson? Yes, Peter. As we all know, technology is the most important meal of the day. Hello, I'm DJ Shifty, two-time DMC world champion and DubSpot instructor. DJ Tech Tools, I want you to be healthy. I want you to be in shape. So, in this semi-regular contribution, I'm going to divulge my most nutritious and invigorating performance tricks. We're going to get you super duper buff. Welcome to Shifty's Technological Tabernacle. Uh, so I'm I'm here today uh, um, to show you DJ Tech Toolians, um, uh, one of my performance tricks. It's a performance trick uh, I call uh, melodic looping or uh, pitch looping, or uh, you know even more fun uh, plooping, plooping for short. Uh, so after after this little tutorial video, you can go home. You can tell your mom, Mom, I spent all day plooping, and she'll be very proud of you, guaranteed. Uh, so before I explain how I do the trick and talk a little bit about the power of the trick, uh, let me let me just show you what we're talking about here. So. Who's the black sheep? Uh, What's the black sheep? Uh, no, not who I am or when uh, I'm coming, so you sleep. Uh, was it in my room or was uh, it in your sphere? Come on. No, not who I was, but let's uh, spend here. Come on. Prez, be prez, be prez, be prez, be prez, 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 So that's plooping. Uh, here's what I'm doing. Uh, the, the, it's, it's not a, a very complicated idea. The idea is I shrink, I start with a one beat loop. I shrink it down to one thirty second. Now uh, we all know that in auto loops for tractor we can go down to one over 32. But if you go to the move section in the drop down menu of your decks here, you go uh, to this area you actually have extra fine moving capabilities. Uh, pretty much the way this area works is this drop-down menu says what you're moving in the middle. This says by how much. And then these buttons here, if you click them, you actually move it. So once we get down to 1 over 32, all I'm doing is I'm going to extra fine here for my loop out. And that's how I get the melody, uh, you know, and, and access to uh, to notes, to notes. Got to have those notes. So to to map it, uh, and I'm, I'll show you uh, on the on the keyboard, but it, it works exactly the same way for a MIDI controller. All the steps are the same. Uh, you just choose your MIDI controller. I'll show you what I what I mean. So you go up to preferences, the gear icon up top. Go to the controller manager area, and you see we have these devices. As I was saying, if you have a, another MIDI controller like Machine, you do the exact same thing here, just on Machine. But uh, let's do it just in, you know, in case you don't have a, a MIDI controller, let's just do it with the keyboard. And if you don't have a keyboard, I'm very impressed with your computing system. Good job. Uh, okay, so generic keyboard. I think that's a little insulting, actually. Uh, my keyboard's anything but generic. So I'm going to edit this. I'm going to edit comment and change it to amazing. So now we have amazing generic keyboard. Uh, so we'll select this, and then uh, let's let's make some assignments here. So add in, we'll go Q loops, uh, we'll go Q loop move, and let's make it uh, let's make it shift and comma. So sort of like the arrow. So I'm going to hit learn, shift comma. Uh, I'm going to do interaction mode decrease rather than direct. So every time I hit it, it's, it's like I'm clicking this button here. And then you have some options here for the assignment. Uh, you can make it device target and then have something that toggles between your two targets. Uh, personally, uh, I like to keep, <laughs> I keep things uh, simple. So I usually just keep it on deck B. 
Uh, and then if I need to do this trick on something, I'll just do a deck duplicate from deck A to deck B and do the trick over there. Um, so this is sort of an option for you, device target being whichever one of these is the focus deck, uh, then the same assignment will work for, for both of them. But, you know, that may be complicated thing. So let's just stick to deck B right now. And uh, yeah, we do shift, we hit learn, then we hit the key, we want to control it. So we'll do shift comma, we deselect learn, and let's see if we're in business. Business is booming, business is booming. Um, okay, so let's make the, the button going the other way. We go back to amazing generic keyboard. We can either do a new add-in with the same thing, or we can just do duplicate, learn. Let's do shift period to make it go the other way. Deselect, we'll change the interaction mode to increase. Now let's check it out. I assure you I'm hitting those buttons in real life. Mozart don't got nothing on me. Uh, except uh, you know music. Let's uh, let's let's talk. Let's go to this macro I was I was talking about. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just as soon as I hit either shift comma or shift period, um, it will automatically switch it to extra fine no matter where it is with these values here, and it will automatically switch the mo the mode here to loop out. Uh, so to do that, we'll go to preferences, and we'll make it for both buttons. Uh, so we'll go over here. Let's first do the extra fine. We'll do add in. Q loops, Q loop move size, learn, shift comma, deselect, we'll make the assignment deck B, we'll make the interaction mode direct, and we'll set to value ultra fine, just like me, and you, and all of us, because we're all beautiful snowflakes deep down inside. Um, okay, same thing, duplicate, learn, shift period, uh, so just the other button too will automatically set it to extra fine and then we're done We already have everything we need button interaction mode direct assignment deck B set to value ultra fine And let's just check that that worked Oh um, I guess it, it you can not actually see the one button hit but in that one motion it switched and started moving so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? Uh, final step, we'll make it the, mo the mode here of move uh, switch, uh, add in, Q loops, Q loop move mode. When I have a, a button that's assigned to other things and I select it, anything else which has that mapping, that same keyboard assignment or MIDI assignment, will also uh, become highlighted yellow. Okay, so that's, that's how you map it out. That's how... Uh, you know, you get you get to ploop on your own. You can ploop for the world. Uh, let's let's talk uh, before we move on just a little bit about the applications here. Um, first, as far as how I actually implement it, I usually start it with a one beat loop uh, rather than jump right into the one over thirty two because you know you're playing the song and then oh what's going on what's going on mistake mistake error as opposed to. I'm dancing, I'm dancing, I'm dancing. Oh, I'm still dancing. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 DJ's doing it, DJ's doing it. Oh, oh, oh. getting crazy, getting crazy, getting crazy, getting crazy. Ah! I'm, I'm really excited right now. Wait a second, what's happening, what's happening? He's plooping, he's plooping everywhere, he's plooping all over the place. What's also interesting is that, you know, while this is going, you can put effects on it. Uh, so, you know, I, I myself haven't even really experimented with this too much, but there, you know, I'm sh there's a lot you can do. And, uh, yeah. We all love some wobbles. And if you have, uh, you know, that knob mapped also. Oh, yeah.